A lot of you saw the show that we did with Kurt Steudel, the head of the Michigan Department of Transportation. On the show, he talked about new construction techniques for bridges. We already showed you the bridge in a backpack approach, but that's for building smaller bridges. When it comes to building the big ones, they have a different approach. Take a look. And you were telling me there's some really interesting ways of building bridges on site or whatever. Yeah. Talk about that. Yeah, there's some really interesting stuff. Uh, the state of Utah has been a real pioneer in, in, in this particular area. And, and um, they built, uh, think of a, a, a bridge over the freeway that you typically see. Uh, they built like four of them in an interchange. So in the big clover leaf, there's four bridges being built, bridge decks. And, and it was for the next four bridges down the road. And once they got them done, they would close the, the freeway and the bridge uh, going over the top on a weekend, on a Friday night, and they would move in this self-propelled um, self modulator, like the space shuttle mover. They'd move it in, they'd pick up the old bridge, and they'd move it out, and they'd wheel a new one in that they built down in the interchange and wheel it up the road and set it in place. And then on Monday, open up the road. Uh, it was absolutely fascinating. Not cheap, but you know, from a user point of view, they, they drove through on Friday on the way to work and drove home. Monday, there's a new bridge. No orange barrels in place. Now, there's lots of activity going off to the side, but the impact of traffic in a very short window. So I, I think that's, uh, that, that's coming. We got you said there, there was a lot of safety aspects to it, too, because the, the construction workers are working at ground level. They're not up on top of a bridge you know, right. in its normal position. They're down at ground level, which makes it a lot safer. Yeah, and from a quality standpoint, you know, there's somebody that's standing on the ground working here, this level, instead of 20 feet in the air. The bridge is isolated in an area that doesn't have cars going by it, so the whole thing isn't vibrating. You know, the, the ground shakes when trucks go by and cars go by, and, mm -hmm. and you know, you're trying to get concrete to set. Um, you know, that's going to put microscopic cracks uh, in the concrete that's going to have long-term effect. So I, what I've heard from my counterpart in Utah is, their contractors now uh, request to do it this way.